Hey guys, welcome to another episode. As you may have noticed, the intro was a bit different this time, as I won a 3D text giveaway by my favourite Twitch streamer, Cy Synapse. Um, he does a lot of this um, digital artwork. Um, most of the stuff he does is Cinema 4D and then um, After Effects. Now, I'm going to be putting links in the description to his YouTube, Twitch and website as he sells the intros and custom um, wallpapers of this, that next thing and multiple artists are on there as well so you can have a really really good look at them. So it's a big shout out to Synapse um, for for making these. Um, I mean I, I won the giveaway, I, he done the hard part, all I had to do was type in a few words and click a button. <laughs> so thank you Synapse for, for giving me this, this, this wonderful wonderful 3D text animation I will be using it in all my videos. So in this video we're basically taking the image that we took out of Cinema 4D and bringing it into Photoshop. And what I was doing at the start of the video there was I was basically making a copy of the original image that we took from Cinema 4D because I always work off a copy as I am quite prone to messing originals up. So I always make a copy and work off that. So I just basically opened that copy and brought it into Cinema 4D. Now the particular armour that I picked for my hunter in this image was the... I think it was the Heroic gear from Siege of Ogrimmar for hunters and shamans and I thought it was pretty badass looking so I put that on the model and obviously I exported it in. Now I always got a feel as soon as I saw this I thought it'd be really really cool to have a sort of like blue smoke effect coming off the, the really extremely baby blue parts of the armour. So basically I've brought in blue smoke from previous projects that I've made and I'm basically just cutting round them and I'm going to be layering the smoke behind it to make it look really, really, um, to make it really bounce out. Um, now, you can debate, and this could be pointless, I, I like doing it, um, most, as most artists will tell you, even musicians, um, they'll say they could always do it a bit better, so I always try to go overboard than underdo it, you know what I mean? So. It's better to do these because I feel more content with myself and like I said, if you are an artist yourself, you do you do get that urge that's like, oh, well, I should do that, no, I should do that. So I thought I'd do this and it's not only the, just the armour that, that I'm doing, it's also the weapon as well. Now I know there's no weapon enchantment for hunters, but it has got that blue glow, like that uh, blue purple glow like I said in Cinema 4D. Um, so I'm going to try and give it some sort of blue smoke effect. Now, Unlike with my armour, I don't have a blue smoke colour, or bluey purple smoke colour I should say, to match the weapon, so I actually have to make my own one and I do make it pretty quickly. Obviously this is sped up, but it's, uh, I do make it quite um, harshly. Um, it probably could have been done a lot better, but you, you, you get the sort of general idea. But if anyone is interested in finding out how you make this smoke in Photoshop, it's very simple to do not too hard, doesn't take long and once you learn it you're not really going to forget it but I do sort of just sort of rush into it and I make some smoke to match it after a few minutes of realising I can't change the other smoke colour that I have to a darker blue <laughs> um, but luckily it's sped up so we don't have to spend too much time on it but the great thing about the internet and YouTube itself is you have tutorials and stuff like this, like stuff like these videos to help you make something really, really fast. And that's something that Synapse also says. You can learn learn how you when you're doing it. And it's the the best way of doing it is by to, the best way of learning is to do it, sorry. Um, and like I said, YouTube and that um, and Google um, you, is your best learning tool. If you ever get stuck, I mean, I worked in IT for a while, and there was always if you don't know it, Google Google will. So you always use there's always um, some 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 way to find out how to get it done. So here I'm trying to find out how he changed this original blue smoke that I've got to a darker blue purple, and I finally concede and have to make my own one. <laughs> so as you see, it's, it's obviously done really fast because it's sped up. But you'll see how pretty much how. It's pretty simple it is. I just sort of sample the colour, get a brush, make these sort of squiggly lines, and I just blur it. 
and then I go to another setting and change it to how I like. I probably should have made that a bit more transparent. And my computer glitched there, so I have to go back and do it. I should have made it a little bit more transparent. But I think it's okay for, for how rushed I was. And then we just basically bring that into the other image, make multiples of that, and put it around the weapon as we see fit. Now, I, I, obviously you might not see this too well, and um, once the image is the, the correct size, because I'm actually zoomed in here at the moment, but it does make you feel like it's something less off your chest. It's been done, you don't have to worry about it. <coughs> so we're just positioning all these smoke, and then we're going to tweak the effect of PC on all of them. It takes me a few tries, but I'll get there in the end. Still not happy with that, so I'll, probably, I'll go back, change the opacity on them again. There we go. Now you can sort of see that in the background there. So I'll save this for, for future use, so I don't have to make another sort of bluey purpley smoke. <laughs> another thing I've done is, which you didn't see in the original Cinema 4D video, is I, I, I have a sort of stock image of a spider, PNG. So I bring that in. Um, not that I use any spider pets, because I think spiders are minging creatures, can't stand them. Um, but I'm also doing that, not that you'd get it in the game, but I'm also doing small multiples of it to make it have like its own little, its own little, little, little posse behind it, so it gives it that more, that more creepy feeling. <coughs> but after that, very much. All the other images that I've used for this, um, all my other like warrior, warlock, druid, I've saved copies of them in Photoshop, so I don't have to make the text again because getting the text can be annoying. All you have to do is Google PNGs or Facebook, Google Plus or Twitter, and you you can get the the, the stock logo and make sure that a PNG so you can use it and, um, and overlay it, and then just get your text and type next to it or whatnot. And that's you, Bob's your uncle, you're done. But always save a copy so you don't have to keep doing it and redoing it and redoing it and redoing it. As you see, I'm just about to open it up. I copy all the text from that to the, the new file. And there you go. I don't have to worry about positioning or anything. And then what we do is we just render that out. And I'll be using that as a social pane at the end of this video, like all my other videos. So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.